Mom. No, I haven't had an attack in a while. I don't think that's what's happening. I don't know. I don't know. Don't worry about it. No. Hey, listen, I, I have to go, okay? I love you. Bye. Here's what's happening inside your body. The magic of the lungs can only be described by looking at them. They're pink and beautiful, sort of like dry sponges, able to take air in and exchange it uh, for waste stuff and get rid of things you don't want in your body. What happens in asthma is that nice pink lung becomes angry and frustrated, and it starts to, to breathe really quickly because it can't get the air in. What's happening? What you're seeing now is a good example of what happens in an asthma attack or even in a panic attack. Let me take you even deeper. Let me take you to where the real action is, the alveoli. Let's transport you in there. And when we get there, we see these balls of air. And these balls of air are surrounded by blood vessels. You see the red ones are the ones that have gotten new oxygen. The blue ones are dumping waste off. That's how it's supposed to work. The tubes that bring the oxygen to these air bubbles are big and round. You can see one over here, and there's, they're all over me. If I look around, I can see them everywhere because the lung is full of them. So what do you do? You sit down, you slow things down, you get rid of whatever's irritating your lungs, like the pollen. You take deep breaths, medita meditation never hurt, and then sometimes you gotta take medications, like an inhalant, and when you do that, you know, you know, bathe the airwaves with this uh, chemical that will relax them, allow them to go from that tight, squeezed-in tube to a nice, big, open tube, so you can once again have oxygen bathing your blood vessels, which is important for you to be able to breathe, live your life, and move around. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I'm sorry about before. I catch my breath. I had to use the inhaler. I'm okay now.